it is time to hunt some nickels that I got from the coin shop. Now, this whole box is uh, stuff that I got from the coin shop, the overstock stuff that they are, we're going to send back to the bank. Um, they should all be Jefferson nickels, um, anywhere from 1930, uh, 1938 to present. Uh, so we'll see what's in here. They could be anything. I have found some gold uh, plated coins, some gold plated nickels, and a few other weird and odd things. Um, I do have several uh, sealed Buffalo 2005 Buffalo nickels. Um, I'm not currently planning on opening up any of those, but I might in another video here. And then I do have several. Um, this says 1964. And this is, uh, I believe, an uncirculated roll that was cracked open and looked at, because that's what that looks like happened to these. Um, this is another 1964. I think I'm going to grab 10 that are unwrapped, and we'll start there and see what's inside those. And then we will go from there. The dimes and quarters in here. I got three rolls of dimes, three rolls of quarters. I will hunt those in a different video. All right, let's get into some nickels that I got from the coin shop. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, so I got my 10 rolls here. We'll put eight of them on the side. We're going to do like we have been doing in the penny videos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crack two rolls, top them out, take a quick look at them, see what's in here. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll, then I'll hunt through them off, off camera and see if there's anything special going on with any of these. Um, oh, wow. Alrighty, first roll. There is a nice toned Jefferson on the inside. That is a 1995 toned Jefferson. Let's check the other side here. Oh, we got an oldie, 1951. Nice. So let's tump this roll out. Ooh, there's some Jeffersons with some nice tone in here. And then there are some old coins. Pretty cool. Very cool indeed. Oh, look at these. Oh, it's kind of stuck together. What is going on with that? This one is just a sticky one. It's took to a 1939 out of Philly. Oh, these two are stuck together a little bit. But look at this. 1984 out of Denver. Very nice coin. Very nice tone on that one. And we have a very nice 1969 out of Denver. This one has some kind of um, something sticky on the reverse there. Some kind of adhesive or something. Yeah, a little sticky. Maybe we'll take some acetone to that and remove that. Um, nice shiny 1963. Wow, look at the tone on this. 1995 out of Philly. Great shape coin too. That is nice. It might even have full steps on it. I'm not seeing any marks on this one. Well, any large marks, I should say. That is a very nice, beautiful coin. Ooh, boy, there's some interesting stuff in here. 1940 out of Denver. 1942. This is a Philly. Let's see. A little stuck there 1956 out of Philly 1946 out of Denver so it looks like there's a good this one is a 1967 it's got some corrosion or something on the edge 1967 um, and I'm probably gonna toss that one back this looks like a good mix of quarters there's another 1946 here a quarters nickels um, let's see 1946, some nice old nickels. This one is uh, San Francisco, 1949. Hold on, we have a semi-key date. Wow, semi-key date, holy cow. 
in uh, my last nickels I went through, there was a ton of keys and semi-keys. I got those right here, actually, I believe. 18 and a half. Plus, I put a couple in my album. Very cool. 2,000. Um, although, I'm not expecting any. Oh, there's some, some kind of sticky residue. I wonder if somebody had put a little bit of stickiness in the back side of their album to hold some of these nickels in. Unfortunately, 1955 that is a really nice shape, but it is stuck and it's on the reverse. Looks like there was, um, yeah, maybe someone stuck some kind of glue or something. 71 there. I'm gonna have to take a little acetone to these. 1955 out of Denver. Was hoping that was a Philly. That is a semi key. Look at the gorgeous tones on this one. 1980 out of Denver. 1988 out of Denver. Right, if I'm just going to sit here and open these and go through the rolls, I might have to only do a few rolls at a time. This video is already going to be long enough as it is. There's another one that's stuck. 1985 out of Denver. Pretty nice little surface scratch in there. And there's the stickiness on the reverse of this one. 1988 out of Denver. 1951, Philly. 1954, in pretty nice shape. That's uh, San Francisco. Yep, San Francisco. Very cool. 1958 out of Denver. There's a Philly, 1946, 1950, out of Philly, let's see, a Denver is a key date, 1950 Denver is the key date, um, 1940 out of Denver, 1942 out of Philly, did we already look at that one? Maybe. 1939, I think I already looked at this one, but I will be checking the reverse for the, um, a double die reverse there. I'm not seeing it in the camera, but that would be nice to come across. 1973, that one is a bit circulated. 1946 out of Denver. It looks like there's a Denver mint mark there. I'm zoomed way in. Zoom out a bit, move over. More of them are stuck together. 1954. Of San Francisco, 1986, yeah, 1986, there, it looks nice, but it's got something on the reverse, unfortunately, and the uh, 1990, out of Denver there, and there's that sticky substance, oh, whoever put that on their coins, 1940 San Francisco, 56 out of Philly, 41 out of San Francisco, 1956, that one is in pretty nice shape, 72, here is the 1995 that was on the other end, this one's Denver, there's a scratch on his cheek there, some nice coloring, and then we have a 1954 out of San Francisco. Oh, cool. Ugh. I'm going to have to. Hopefully not all the rolls are like that. And it's just this roll. So, there is that roll. Alright. Well, that is interesting. That is interesting. I got a ton of coins with some, some kind of sticky residue on it. I'm uh, wondering if whatever if whatever album they put them in, or if they used a little bit of some kind of sticky residue to hold them in an album, whoever, whatever. Oh, let's see, 1946. And on the other side, we got another toned. 1992, that one looks really nicely toned. Oh, hopefully we don't have all the coins stuck together like last time. 
Oh, that one pumped out nice and smooth, so that's better. Much, much better. Denver, 1950, 1950 out of Denver. That is a key date. That is the lowest minted nickel. It is in rough shape though. So, but that is still a key date. Let me see, I'll put it up here on the key date. Cool, 1946 out of San Francisco. Denver, Denver. And there is a nicely toned 2005 Lewis. Is that the was it the Ocean View? All four, all four of these uh, coins, 2004 and 2005, are uh, Lewis and Clark uh, coins. 1942 out of Philly. This is a San Francisco. 52. Um, 1962, 1956, out of Philly, 1961, has a little, little extra came with that one, 1961, 1963, this one is a Denver, 1953, this is a Philly, 1964, 1962. This is a 1975 out of Denver, 1940, Philadelphia, 1947, Denver. It is an interesting tone, 1953. Looks a little um, like it got something on it. Same here, 1948, that's affiliate. Just looks like, yeah, that's, that's got something on it. San Francisco, that is a pretty nice coin. Has a little bit of stairs remaining, 1946. Yes, very nice. 1939 in nice shape. That is a... Philadelphia. I'm not seeing the doubling on that. That should be able to see that. If it was there, the coin was just in that great of a shape. 1940s. 1954 out of Denver. Well, this roll is stacked with the goodies. 1951 out of San Francisco. Here we go. This one is a Denver right here. In the mint mark looks a little funny. 1953. S. It's an S. That's why it was looking a little funny. I'm looking at the camera, not at the coin. 1956. And some nice tone there. 1980 out of Philadelphia. Has some weird looking tone on it. Looks like it was attacked with something. San Francisco has a lot of surface um, spotting on it. Looks like something ate away at the surfaces. 1940s. 1950 Philly. 1950 out of Philly is a semi key date. I'm going to put that up here with the rest. That is a nice find. Denver, 1958 out of Denver. Let's just move these over so they're in the shot a little bit. 1948 out of Philly. 1959 out of Denver. 1954 out of Philly. That is a Denver, 1956. Here's another newer nickel. This one looks like it has some scratches on the steps in the, the building, but it is still a pretty nice nickel, 1974. Pretty nice toning on it. Pretty good for a 70s nickel. Denver, 1938. 1938 out of Denver is a key date. That is another key date, wow. Two key dates, one semi in this roll. Very nice, 1940 out of Philly. 
1956 out of Denver. Here is a Denver. 1961, our last old coin of the roll, 1970, 1957 out of Denver. Oh, this one might be an old coin as well, in the 60s, 67, just had that look. The 60s just had a really unique, shiny, lustrous look to them, and this definitely does have that look. Looks like... You know, it was kind of smushy. The strikes were kind of smushy sometimes. And this is the 95 out of Denver that we saw. Or 92 out of Denver, sorry. That was the other ender. Okay, I have a mess of nickels. Two rolls, and we got two key dates and two semi-key dates. Awesome. All right. Um, let me take a minute to clear this up, clean this up, maybe stack them up into some stacks and see how many of these I got. I'm going to have to uh, see if I can remove some of that adhesive on. Let me see what I need to do with these and get them cleaned up and I will be right back. All right, so I got things cleaned up. Some of the nicer ones are the nicer tone ones I have up here, just off screen. These are all the stacks of the coins. I'm just going to have to sort through them at some point. But I want to open some more if the rolls uh, keep going like this, like they have been, then I'll probably only have, I'll only do six rolls this, this time, just to save on time, just because going through those two rolls did probably take up quite a while. So we'll have to cut down on the amount of rolls I go through. So the hunt doesn't go on for a long time. It's Pretty nice looking 99, and we got an older look coin on the reverse here. Let's pump this one out, and at least they are not uh, sticking together this time. So that is good. 1964, it's 1941, out of San Francisco. Nice. One has a little bit of nice toning on it. It is a 1998 with some pretty nice tone. Looking for six out of San Francisco. 1958 out of Denver. That's a nice one with some tone. This is 1965. This one has some corrosion on it. We'll be getting rid of that one. So do these two. 1964 out of Denver had some corrosion. And 1963 out of film corrosion. Gonna get rid of those. 1970 out of Denver. That one's pretty nice shape. Let's set that up here. Uh, this one has some nastiness around the rim. 1949 out of San Francisco. Oh. That is a semi-key date, but it is got some something got on the rims and messed it up, unfortunately. No, nope, it's still a semi-key date, so we will set it up here. And uh, it's pretty damaged, but still a semi-key date. 1952S. That is a 1941, looks like a Denver. But there is some, yeah, it looks like a Denver. Oh, let me take a look at that. Yeah, it's just the Denver with the dirty D on it. Oh, uh, no, it's another, yeah, it's another one with some sticky gunk on it. I'll have to see what I can do about that. Um, I've got the others set to the side to see what I could do here in a few minutes. 1939. I thought I saw a mint mark on this. We have a key date. Denver. 1939 out of Denver is a key date. Nice. Very cool. 1972. This one has that corrosion on the outside. Uh, those were probably in a roll that got wet or something. And just had the water sit on it. 
1973 out of Denver. Let's see, 1949. This one is a Philly. Ooh, look at the tone on that. Holy cow. That is a beautiful 1992. I'm going to put that up top with the others. Uh, looks like we got another. This one is a 1951. With some of that sticky residue on the back. 77 out of Denver. Pretty nice. It has a pretty good fingerprint across the front. 52 of Philly. 1971 out of Denver. That one is pretty nice. Some pretty good stairs. There's a couple of things on it so they would not get full steps, but that is pretty nice. 71. 64 with some more corrosion on the outside. Uh, here's a 1953 with that same gunk on the outside. 1953 out of San Francisco. Oh, man. Uh, I got another one that's stuck together. Okay, there we go. 2005 Ocean View. And this one is a Denver 1964. Corroded 1974. A Gunky 19, uh, 2013. Would look pretty nice if it wasn't for the Corrosion and junk on it. 1969S. More of that corrosion. Another one with a little corrosion on the outside. 1975. That is a fairly decent 1975. But you got that corrosion. I'm guessing those 70s all came out of the same roll. 70s and some of the 60s. That one with them. 1964. Decent. This has some. Uh, tone on it, but it has a lot of discoloration spots on it as well. Ah, some weird spots. 2001. This one is a Denver. 1958. We have a Denver. 1954. 1961. Out of Denver. A San Francisco. This one is a San Francisco. 1938. Ooh, that is another key date. Very cool. Very cool indeed. San Francisco. 1953. And then the last coin is in 1999. And a 2004 that are just uh, stuck together there. So, unfortunately, got that sticky stuff on the back. And... Looks like some of it got on the surface of this one. Ooh, pretty bad, too. Looks like it's got a little scratch across the surface. Oh, there's just some stuff stuck to it. Okay. So I've kind of got them a little bit sorted here. Sticky stuff's up here. Corroded stuff's over here that I'm just probably going to toss. And see. Hopefully not all these... Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully not all of these um, rolls have the sticky coins on them. Uh, you got a 1940 in a pretty nice quality 1940 there on that end. What is on here? This has a nice quality one on this side. Um, uh, it's got a little bit of that residue, whatever it is. Whatever happened to those coins, whatever they were stuck to, stuck in, whoever did that, man, they certainly did a job on them. Certainly did a job on them. And that one with the residue. It's 1972. With a little color on it. Whoo, this is a really nice 1970 out of Denver. Not perfect, but that is some pretty good quality coin there. Probably a low mint state high AU, but pretty good quality 
1938 out of San Francisco. Ooh, ooh, that's another key date. Key date. Denver. 1955 out of Denver. Not bad, not bad. Denver. 1941. Gonna have to start a new stack for these old coins. Ah, I got more that are stuck together. More that are stuck together. I'll look at those in a minute. A 1952 out of Philly. There's one with some nice little tone on it. 1971. That one's a pretty nice 1971 as well. Let's see. San Francisco. 1938. That's our second 1938 S out of this bunch. Where's the other one out of Denver? Let's take a look. San Francisco, San Francisco, 1938s. Very cool. Yep. There we have it. Denver, 1955. Oh, uh, this one has some, it's a 1942, has some weird, pretty cool coloring, but it is a little weird, and there's a little corrosion junk on the, the edge there. 1942 out of Denver. I believe 1942 you can find a D over horizontal D on those. I will check those. I'm just going to have to sort these and check all these when I'm done here. There's another couple that are stuck together. 1954 out of Philly. Yeah, and I'll just go back after I'm done sorting through everything. 1941 with that junk on it. That one is a San Francisco. 1962, pretty good shape. That one is a Denver. Let's see. Oh, I like that one. Now this one is pretty nice and shiny. Decent steps, not full steps. There's a little wear on some of the bottom steps. 1972 on the Denver. It's pretty nice. There's some marks and things on it, but that is a pretty nicer 70 coin. 70s coin. 1952. 1958 out of Philly, Philadelphia, 1949. This one has some of that corrosion, whatever, whatever got on these, man. 1952, man, that was a nice looking coin too before it got destroyed. Oh, oh man. 1973. With some of that, oh geez, that is a thick layer of that residue, sticky residue. Denver, 1963, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Denver, 1964. Nineteen forty-one. it's Philly. Yep, Philly. Somebody drew on that. 1969 out of Denver. Denver, 1940. 1953 out of San Francisco. Um, this one has some of that sticky residue on it. 1982 out of Denver. It's not a bad 82, and I'm not sure 82s are a little hard to come by. Especially in the nickels and quarters, I believe. Those are the two hardest ones. 70, 57. Another nice and shiny one. This one is a 71 out of Denver. Does have some surface uh, marks on it. Oh, wow. Wow, that has some eye popping color on it. Has some stuff on the rim there, fortunately. Something looks like something got on this. That color there on the corner is not natural. Has some great colors, but I something got on this one. 1999. This one has some striations. Looks like some lamination. 
across the reverse there. This one is a Philly, it looks like 1950. Out of Philly is a semi-key date. Very nice. Uh, it's a 68 with that corrosion on it. Ugh. A 1971 from Philly in pretty good shape too. Another corroded 1973 with that corrosion on the rim. And another one with the whatever got onto these coins here, 1940. Out of Philly. Yeah, oh, man, that would have been a nice coin. Look at that. That is a just a nice, nice coin. But it got destroyed because it got some kind of probably it was in a roll somewhere and got some liquid on it and it just sat there and rotted at the coin, unfortunately. That is a nice coin as well. I think we glanced at these 1950. All right, so I popped these up in 1950 out of Philly. That's another semi-key date, but it has some of that gunk on it. 1949 out of Philly. That's a little bit of that gunk on it. 1952 out of Philly with some of that gunk. 2005 out of Denver. Got the gunk on the front there. We got March from the Gunk, 1942, out of Denver. And this one was stuck to this one, 2015 out of Denver. There's the Gunk. All right, hopefully I wasn't zoomed in too much there. And we were able to see those. Tell you what, let's do one more roll for the hunt. Um, then I'll work on getting these cleaned up. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought to deal with all of these, especially the ones that have all the sticky residue on them. And I'm hoping a little acetone will get that off and not, uh, um, affect the coin in any way, the coins in any way, but I don't know. But we're going to do five rolls for this hunt, and then I'll do five rolls in the next hunt, just because... This is taking a little bit longer than I thought, and I've got so much more stuff I got to do with these. So there is a couple of more that are stuck together here. 1978 out of Philly. 1978 out of Denver has the sticky, gooey residue on it. 1978 out of Philly. Pretty nice overall, not perfect. 1972 out of Philly. That one looks, I like the surfaces are a little messed up. 41 out of Philly. 42 out of Philly. San Francisco, 41. 1938 in pretty good shape there. This is a Philly. We have a 1962 out of Philly. 1939 out of Denver. Ooh, that is another key date. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool to find these key dates. Denver, 1942. San Francisco, 1941. Another one with some of that uh, corrosion, whatever got on it. 1953 out of Denver. And uh, 1954 out of Philly. 1954. Wait, there was a little bit of uh, something going on with the rim there. Uh, 1954 out of San Francisco. 1963 out of Philly. That is a pretty nice. Let's take a close look. Um, that would not get full steps, but those are some pretty decent steps. And uh, it is a pretty nice 1978 out of Denver. 1957 out of Denver. Now to get full steps, 
There's a 41 out of Philly. To get full steps, the steps across the back have to be complete and unbroken. Um, dings and stuff. 1957 out of Philly. Dings and stuff would uh, um, cause that to not be a full steps. 69 out of San Fran. Denver, 1963. There's a Denver Mint Mark on this 55. Um, 55 out of Denver is not a key date. It's a normal, regular, common date. Let's get the rest of these onto the camera here. 1948, San Francisco. Hold on. That is a semi-key date. That's what I thought. I have to remind myself on these. A so 48 out of Philly. It's 1997 has some interesting colors on it. Very cool. 1940 out of Philly. This one looks like it was uh, 58 out of Philly. Has some of that sticky residue on the reverse there. There's another two that are stuck together. 1949. Out of Denver, um, I believe just the San Francisco's are the key dates. Yep, and here's got the sticky residue on the back of this. 1940. There's that San Francisco mitten mark, mint mark there. This one is a 1953, and that is pretty nice. 1953. No reverse mint mark. 1963 out of Philly. 1985 out of Denver with some pretty nice tone on it. That's a pretty cool tone. Oh, nickel. This one is going to be a Philly, maybe. 1951 out of Philly. Let's see. San Francisco, 1954. That one's a pretty nice 1954. It's got maybe a little bit of issues with the rim there. 1961. Out of Denver. 1968 out of Denver. 1964 out of Philly. 1947 out of Denver. Two more. No mint mark. This one's going to be a Philly 1947. That's some, uh, Interesting looking colors there on the obverse because there's 1970 out of San Francisco. This one here has all that uh, colors and striations on it. Most likely do an improper alloy mix where the metals were not mixed completely fully during the melting when they were melted and uh, alloyed together, mixed together. That's causing those lines most likely. Um, whew, so we got a bunch of coins. I got a bunch. I got to see what I can do about the residue. Save these five rolls for next time just so the video doesn't go too long. Um, so it's going to take me a while. Let me clean up what I can clean up, sort through everything, um, and then we will break down what we have here. Here's a quick close-up of all the 1950s I have. I got nicer ones down here on the end here. No finds in, in these outside of the uh, keys and some of my keys that I got. Here's a quick shot of the 1940s. And again, the nicer ones are on the end here. Um, there were no war nickels in this batch and as well, I wasn't expecting any. And uh, there were no, f no uh, fines in this batch as well. And we only had the three 1930s. Uh, 239s, one of them is quite nice and the 38. Well, plus the uh, key dates and, and stuff such that I'll go through right now. And here are the keys and semi-key dates. 1938 out of Denver, 338s out of San Francisco, 239s out of Denver, a 48 out of San Francisco, had two 49s out of San Francisco, and this one has the damaged rim and such. 1950 out of Denver, and unfortunately it is the scratched up reverse. Um, 
and two 1950s out of Philadelphia, which are semi keys. That is what we have for the keys and semi keys. And then I have some stacks up here of some nicer um, coins that I'm going to check against the album. Um, these are 60s on and on. Uh, some of them have some really nice tone on them. And so a lot of them are just in nice shape. So I got to go through those and see what I'm going to do with those. Okay, so I'm going to wrap the video up here. Um, I still have a ton of stuff to go through. And if I do find anything really cool, I'll add it in after this. Um, otherwise, I'm going to check these against the album. I, the album I'm using is the one I'm doing for the nickel updates, upgrades, which are currently posted on Thursday in shorts. Um, so do look forward to those if you want to see those go in, if I do find anything that's worth upgrading here, which there's some nice stuff. Uh, for the pre-60s, so 59 through 38, I had 101, and then I had plus 12 um, key dates and semi-key dates. So that's what, 113 pre-60s in those five rolls? which is a lot, so it'll be interesting to see what's in the rest of these rolls and see how those go. Hopefully we, we uh, get rid of some of the issue coins and move into some nicer stuff. Um, some of the ones that have the damaged rims and such and, uh, and the coins that have the uh, sticky gunk on the reverse. Um, those are just some problem coins I gotta figure out and deal with. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. Drop us a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And a very special thank you to my channel members. Thank you very much to everyone who is supporting the channel, going above and beyond. Link below if you're interested in checking out the rewards you get for signing up. Thank you very much.